welcome to this fourth edition of Five on Fry. I'm AJ Fry, and I've got five topics to discuss with you. A great event I went to on the weekend, a hacking scandal, a game I'm playing, a series I'm loving, and of course, our Canadian cosplay cutie. So Atomic Lollipop is a convention, though it feels way more like an annual party for people who go to conventions, if that makes any sense. Uh, it's a great event, fantastic cosplay, some great performances by many of my good friends, and Prozac reunited for a performance there as well, which is the main reason that I went, because my fiance, man I hate that word, can't wait for her to just be my wife. Uh, really is a huge fan of Prozac and she really, really wanted to go. Uh, they put on a great set though. The acoustics in there were just awful. I hope they change up the venue for the concerts next year. Another real highlight for me was I entered the men's jousting competition and I came in second place, which is way better than I anticipated. I know it's a weird thing to brag about, but you gotta realize that I grew up a big geek. I never excelled in anything athletic. I'm still proud of it. I didn't think I would last one round, let alone make it to second place, guys. I'm not gonna live this down. Okay, this topic is gonna be fun to discuss. The website AshleyMadison.com with the slogan, life is short, have an affair, was hacked. It's employee information and user information is currently held by hackers who are threatening to release the info if the website isn't taken offline. Comedians are having a field day with this one, myself included. I laughed when I heard it. Of course, AshleyMadison.com hacked. Well, serves you right if you're signing up for a website that encourages you to cheat on your partner, but no one deserves to be a victim and I, for one, doubt that 100% of the users of AshleyMadison.com are people genuinely looking to cheat on their significant others. Consider that there might be someone who is suspicious of their significant other having an affair, who signed up, paid the money, and went, oh, my partner isn't having an affair. But now their information is lumped into that category of people who are on the website looking to have affairs. No doubt there are people on the website who are legitimately having affairs and shouldn't be, but that doesn't mean that everyone should be victimized or have their personal information exposed under any circumstance. We all have a right to privacy and to make bad decisions, don't we? Quick relationship advice for anyone out there, it is far easier to have an open and honest dialogue about your relationship and all aspects of it with your partner rather than hiding things from them. If you're not happy about an aspect of your relationship, there are ways you can express that feeling to your partner without hurting them, and together you can work from a strong foundation of open honesty to make your relationship better as opposed to withholding information from them, because lies and secrecy never make anything better. Our third topic is a much happier subject. BoJack Horseman season two is now on Netflix. I love the first season and the second season has not disappointed so far. I'm only about four episodes in. It's really hard to describe this show because the characters and world are completely silly and sardonic, but below the surface, it's actually really genuine and intimate and it does a great job with these characters and making you empathize with them and what they're going through. I can't recommend it any stronger. Our next topic, one of my favorite computer games going these days, Hearthstone has announced an upcoming expansion pack entitled The Grand Tournament. Now, if you're not familiar with the game, I won't go into the details, but it's kind of akin to like a computer version of Magic the Gathering, and I am hooked. If you want to play against me, you can add me to Battle.net. My username is just AJ, that's A-J-A-Y, uh, hashtag symbol 1686. It's up on the screen there. So add me to Battle.net, let's play some Hearthstone. Finally, it is time for our Canadian cosplay cutie, and this week we're in for a treat. It is none other than Atlas Cosplay, who I met back at either Toronto Comic Con or Fan Expo some years ago while she was in her awesome mashup cosplay, Sailor Ariel. Working as a host on Interspace, I'm often asked, what are the, like, the best parts of your jobs? And yes, getting to go to interesting places and interview interesting people is tops, but when a really cute girl in a very cute cosplay asks you for a photo, that's also one of the best parts of my job. If you're headed to Con Bravo this weekend, you can catch up with Atlas Cosplay. She'll be there, and she's headed to Fan Expo at the end of the summer, and she'll be at Edmonton Expo in September. So lots of places to see Atlas Cosplay this year. Uh, on the topic of our Canadian cosplay cuties, I'm gonna start running out sometime soon, so if you'd like to submit yourself, please do. You can send me an email. It's aj at AJAYFRY.com. You can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, all over the interwebs, and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the future.